Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here today finally talking about more information for the December Boxy Lux. Apologize I haven't uploaded in a while. You know, last week, I think it's been a full week since I uploaded. But anyways, last week kicked my butt. I did not have a chance to do any kind of filming, you know, and I, then I got off work early yesterday and I thought I was going to do some filming then, but I, yeah, I just couldn't make myself do it. I was so tired. I just want to take that time to kind of recharge and get caught up in a couple of things that have been getting neglected over the past week. But I'm back. There's finally more information going on with the Boxy Lux. Now, some of this you may have already heard about it, um, but I waited until something new came out today, and so I thought I would kind of roll everything into one video for you. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about, this is the new news that came out today. I want to give a shout out to my girl Crystal for letting me know about this. Um, Boxy Lux, excuse me, Boxy Charm sent out an email about Boxy Lux letting us know that they are finally bringing to our subscription um, customization. This is just going to be for December. Now they didn't give any details about what options you're going to be, but let me read you the email that they sent us. Okay, our holiday gift to you, customization. As a Boxy Lux Charmer, you deserve an extra special surprise this holiday season. This month only. I'm so sad that it's only going to be for one month. I was hoping it would be for every box. But for this month only, you will be the first Charmers ever to choose one item in your December Boxy Lux. Okay, so how it works, the email that you're going to get on the October 23rd at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will receive an email that will showcase the options that you can choose from. Um, you'll have to make your choice by 4 o'clock that day. So they don't give any details on what the items are, but I, have, I do have a thought on this, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about it here in just a second, but that's just the email. And a quick reminder, if you sign up for the interest list for Boxy Lux, that is not the wait list. Make sure you sign up for the wait list. Um, they did release a statement on their Instagram account talking to another person, letting them know that people who are on the wait list for Boxy Lux, if you're on the wait list and you have your confirmation for it, they're saying you're guaranteed a Boxy Lux. I don't know if there's a cutoff date for that to happen or if it was just for a temporary time but as of right now everyone on the wait list is guaranteed a box so if you missed out on it last time now is a great time to get on that list so let's go through what we know so far confirmed was the HG palette from Violet Voss and HG is for Holy Grail palette this is a warm tone palette it is $45 and that breaks down to $1.80 a shade and this has a rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars that's pretty cool um, it's a really, really warm tone palette. It's got a lot of um, warm, coppery colors. has some cranberry shades in it, which I love those, so I'm happy to get that. It does have a mix of matte and shimmer, so you have a little bit of something for everyone. When I was reading the reviews for it, a lot of people said that the colors were extremely, extremely pigmented. Um, the negative reviews, people said that those that were pigmented, it was kind of hit and miss between the shades. But a lot of people say that this is their holy grail palette, that people go to it time and time again. It's not really travel friendly given the size of it, because, you know, it's 20 shades. Um, for any good, I don't own a Violet Voss eyeshadow palette in my collection, so I'm not sure how big they are. I need to go to Sephora to see if I can swatch it sometime and get a look of it before we get it in the box. Because wait until December, that's quite a while, that's quite a way out, and I just want to go ahead and start messing with it now. And another positive note that people had about the eyeshadow palette, they said that the color pigmentation lasted an extremely long time. If you ever had an eyeshadow palette where it looks really, really pretty at first, and then within an hour or two, the colors, they kind of blend into each other. There's not really, or they turn muddy over time. It's just like they disappear. I hate it when eyeshadow palettes do that. So this one, I'm hoping, it is just like what everyone else said, that is really, really awesome. They're really, really enjoying it, so... Hopefully we'll get it and it'll be what I have got built up in my mind. The total retail for the box in December is going to be $340. That's an insane value for $50. And there's going to be lifestyle items in this as well. They haven't given us any ideas of what it's going to be. Because you know Joe likes to go on every so often and talk about... Or he likes to go on there every so often and show different items. Like he showed himself wearing the headband that turned out to be the lifestyle item that was in the last Boxy Lux box. So we'll need to keep an eye out for any tips, any sneak peeks out there. Okay, I do want to mention one thing about the video he put out where he was saying that the Violet Boss eyeshadow palette was confirmed. 
I do not like that he said that nobody guessed it. Not one person, and he was very specific when he said this. He said not one person guessed that that was what it was going to be. He has done this before in the past, and if I can find that video where he did it before, I will include it in here as well. But I don't like that he said that. That makes me believe that he's not paying attention to any of these Instagram accounts, YouTuber accounts, any Facebook groups, because this has been on there. Ever since people saw him, the palette was in the background, people called it out then like this could be a boxy luck spoiler. I don't understand why he would say that not one person guessed. I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal, but it kind of, um, kind of stung a little that he didn't, that he doesn't pay attention or if he sees it and just doesn't acknowledge any of the posts that any of these groups are making. I love BoxyCharm. I love Joe. I think he's awesome. You know, not that I actually know him on a personal level, but from what I know, what I've seen, I really, really like him. He's built a great company. But just something like that, I don't, that didn't sit well with me. I, I'll just be completely honest. All right, so now I'm going to give you the first sneak peek for December Boxylux. Now, I was actually waiting to give you that sneak peek for a long time, but my team told me not to and not to and not to. And now, finally it is. There, there you go, guys. I am showing you right now the Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. That's going to be on the Boxylux for September. It's surprising that none of you caught on it. It was behind me in one of the videos, and not one of you saw all right, now I'm going to go and uh, have Lourdes showing you how to swatch. Oh, well, she's going to swatch it. Chalmers, I'm going to confirm the sneak peek, which surprisingly no one caught on the fact that when I did my G stories, I was actually sneak peeking those two items. One is the tart, ready, ready, set, radiant. It's a body mist. And the second one is the Fuego palette by Crown. And let me try and open this with one arm. Here it is. Okay, so talking about the customization, I want to bring up two other things. Whenever he was showing the video confirming the Violet Voss eyeshadow palette, he had a couple other items on the desk. He had a flat iron, which that one, I don't know for sure which one it is. I've seen several people say, and I'm sorry if I'm spitting everywhere. I have seen several people say that it is the Eva NYC a flat iron from them it retails for $30 and then beside it he had a set of Luxie brushes I am a brushaholic I'm a brushaholic I love brushes send me all the brushes you want they haven't confirmed that those brushes are in the set yet but I went ahead and looked up the details for it this set I went on to the Luxie brushes site I couldn't find this specific set but it is available at Nordstrom retails for $65 you're going to get eight brushes and it's going to come with the 160 brush that is a lip brush and I don't have anything like that in my collection um, then we have the 201 that is a brow and lot brow and lash brush I'm a while I was having a hard time with that then from there we have the 221 flat definer brush okay now I have several brushes from that collection so, and I do have four of them that are in that set. The definer brush is this right here. And this is the small one. We got a set of four of these. Like these are the little travel brushes. And then compared to the regular size. Sorry. Yeah, compared to the regular size. So this one was the definer brush. We had the 213 eyeshadow brush. And I think I've got that one too. Yeah, the 213. This one is really, really good for packing on the color on the lid. And then next we have a 229 tapered blending brush. I don't think I have that. Yes, I do. Okay, this is the full size that I have. Tapered blending. This one is really densely packed. It's really good for blending out your eyeshadow. But if you've got something, like if you're just trying to blend a couple of colors together, this one's really, really good. If it had less bristles in it, it would be good for like blowing it out, you know, diffusing the color but this is just really good for marrying your shades together then we have the 522 tapered highlighter brush I have that one as well this one is one of my favorites whenever it comes to highlighting brushes I don't really like the fan brushes that much this I'd much rather prefer a style like this so that I can get more precise where I want to place that highlight so this one I really really like and I think those are the only ones that I had 
Okay, and from there we have the we have the 532 round top brush. That one was really good for buffing out your contour or using your foundation. That one I'm actually really excited to get. And the last one is a 680 precision brush. That one's more for your contour shades, blending those out. So that's a really, really good value. If you don't have anything from the Rose Gold Collection, this is a really good start. I have said it before and I'll say it again. My goal is to get every single brush in that collection. And I've got several. I've got a good start to it. The only ones that I really don't get much use out of are these short ones because they tend to fall down to the bottom of my brushes compared to these. But these, if you're traveling, stuff like that, these are perfect. You can just take these with you and that's it for your eyes and you're good. You're set. Alright, so my thoughts on the customization. Because they haven't confirmed anything yet, I kind of wonder, if, since he included those in that shot, what if we're going to be getting either the choice of one or the other between those two? Either the flat iron or the brush set? I hope that's not the case because I, if it is, if it comes down to choosing those two, I'm definitely going to go with the brushes. A flat iron, I would love to have a travel size flat iron. It would just make it easier. And I can keep that one here at Devin's office so I'm not having to take mine back and forth between the office and home. Um, so I mean, I would like that too. Um, I would just prefer the brushes. I don't really, I can live without that flat iron. I don't do a lot of heat styling to my hair, so I'm okay if that one just doesn't come into my collection. It can just stay out, just bring more brushes. I'm okay with that. Now, I've had several people comment in the last few videos when we were talking about brushes that they're brushaholics too. Bring on more brushes, that's what everyone is saying. And one girl said that one of her friends has 75 eyeshadow brushes. Or she may not have said eyeshadow brushes, but she had 75 brushes. Like here are my Lexi brushes, and you can see there's a handful. I have got two containers. These are all of my these are all my blending brushes, my eyeshadow brushes. These are more of my random brushes, more detailed things like that. These are my face brushes. I have quite a few. And these are kind of my random assortment brushes. And I want to say a really, really quick shout out to one of my subscribers. She sent this one to me. You know who you are. I hope you're watching this. She sent this to me and it is it's from Real Techniques. This brush is almost too pretty to use. It's the only reason why I haven't touched it yet. Like all my brushes, they need a good washing after I film this video. Um, a lot of them are dirty. But this has just a bunch of random things in there. And the Alamar brushes and brushes I got from FabFitFun, they're in here. I'm going to count how many brushes I have. I will be right back. And just for fun, guys, I would love it if you counted your brushes and commented down below how many you have. I want to see. I, you know, whoever has the most brushes, I don't want someone to get bragging rights. This is too cool. Or, on the other side, if you only have just a few select brushes, those must be your holy grails. Comment down below what you have. That way I can know what I need to add to my collection. Because if they're your favorites, it's more than likely they're my favorites too. Or will be my favorites when I get them. Alright, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have counted all of my brushes that I have in my collection, uh, not including what might be in eyeshadow palettes, things like that, because I know the ABH palettes come with brushes and a couple of others that I think I have that have brushes. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> um, the grand total that I have so far is 109 brushes. I had 108, but I remember at the last second that I got a new brush in my Ipsy bag. Oh, by the way, I got my first Ipsy bag. Um, this is for the month of October, and I actually like the bag that came with and the design on this. Um, I thought it was pretty cute, and I had a lot of different subscription boxes coming this month, which I really appreciate it because my birthday is this month, so it's kind of my little birthday gift to myself. And I wanted to let you know, too, because a lot of people have questions about what kind of makeup I'm wearing in my videos, and I wanted to let you know that I actually use items from my Ipsy bag to do today's look. Um, I used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, the Invisible Cover Foundation, and it was just a decent sized sample that I got in here, and it's the shade, I do not know, uh, Y225. I hate that they don't give names to their shades, they're just codes. But anyways, that's a good size sample. Um, it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone because I'm a very pale person, but I made it work and I actually really liked it. 
Um, and I got a Naked Cosmetics pigment and it's a super super gold shadow that I used for the cut crease look that I did today. And I used my ColourPop um, You Had Me at Hello eyeshadow palette to finish off the rest of the color or to finish off the rest of the eye look. Um, but this actually packed quite a punch. I was surprised. And I've had this makeup on for several hours and we've actually went out to eat with it and I mentioned that because for my lips today I am wearing this is one of my favorite drugstore liquid lipsticks this is the Maybelline Superstay matte ink and like I've got several colors in this the one that I'm wearing right now is loyalist and then I have poet and creator ah you get a good shot a good picture of them now I know these two shades are really really similar but it just depends um, I saw Poet, I saw this recommended by um, a couple other YouTubers this really pretty shade but I want something a little bit lighter in case I didn't like it and then this purple it just seemed like something that would make me want to create a interesting look something a little bit outside my comfort zone but these are really awesome I have eight I haven't touched up anything except my lip gloss that I have from ColourPop from the Makeup Shayla collection. I have that on and I have some powder. Uh, I had to touch up my powder when I came back from lunch. Um, but other than that, that was it. If you want a good drugstore liquid lipstick that lasts all day long, like I accidentally kept the stuff on my face and slept in it. Don't recommend it by the way, but I have done it. And this was still going strong on my lips. I had to scrub to get this off. Now I do want to say that's probably a bad thing that I had to scrub to get this off, but if you're looking for something that's going to last all day long, this is it. I will say, do not try to layer this up too much because it kind of turns gummy on the lips. It gets a weird texture to it that makes it kind of, I don't like my lipstick or any of my lip products to be super, super sticky. This one, it, it's a different level of stickiness. Like, it's almost like, um, it's almost like, um, a slime that may be a bad way to describe it but just keep it one coat I don't know I actually haven't had a chance to try this one yet so I don't know how the pigment is going to do but I know as far as these two go one coat and you're good all right I think that's everything we have to go over in today's video if you made it to the end of the video guys I want you to comment down below make sure you put in how many brushes you own and you know I showed you all those different brush containers that I had if you guys want to see a video of me going through my brush collection with you and giving out a few of my favorites out of my collection, that way if you're trying to build your own kit, um, if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and comment down below and I'll be sure to film that for you. Um, I can do that. I may just go ahead and do that really, really soon anyways, but if you guys are looking forward to it, comment down below. All right. Well, thanks again for taking time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become part of the Wolf Pack today and I will see you in my next one. Bye.